Hi everyone, it's Ali and thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I have finally got around to making a tutorial for an interactive card that I did a little while ago. The original card was for a mama elephant um, sort of guest design team call for an upcoming uh, Instagram hop which I'll be involved in so look out for that. And this one is my photo bomb um, card as well. So the original card it took me quite a little while to work out the idea. I had the idea and I just had to sort of make it happen so I worked it out as I went along. <laughs> but this card I've started with some uh, dusty concord down the bottom. I wanted it to look like a sort of um, night sky for New Year's Eve I guess. And then I've just gone in with a bit of blueprint sketch and faded jeans as well and I've just taken that colour up sort of three quarters of the way up the piece of card. It's just normal card that I've used here. And another little uh, good idea that I do, if I get too heavy handed with the ink and I just want to lighten it off a little bit or I want to make the colour just fade out that little bit more, I just use some white pigment ink over the top and that just helps blend in the colour a little bit. Just drying that off with my heat tool really quickly and then I'm flicking it with some water. So it's not watercolour paper, it's just normal card um, that I use for everything really, Copic colouring and everything. Um, just splattering with it some water and drying it off with some paper towel. Now I'm using some silver glitter kindy glitz and my bet is that everybody's got some kindy glitz in their stash from many years ago. <laughs> I still like using it every now and again and I'm just going to use it to splatter um, a background sort of shimmer on for a star, starry night look I guess. Um, if you have fireworks stamps or something like that that would probably be great to use on this background but I don't actually have any. And then I'm just doing another little piece to go behind the photo with the same colours um, and splattered that with the silver kindy glitz as well. Now I'm just using my lawn fawn uh, die to cut out that photo frame and I'm just cutting or just grabbing a piece of paper that's going to sit behind that and I'm going to stamp the dog's wolf on that piece of paper with my memento ink. So just stamp that up quickly and then I'm also stamping an extra dog. He's going to be the one that's going to be the photo bombing dog. And there's all of my pieces so far. So with my a dog, I want him to pop up sort of behind the other dogs, if you like. So I just need a section of those. I decided to stamp out a few of the hats and a little balloon to put in the scene as well later on. And I'm also using a Copic multi-liner there to extend the line of the dog because he is only those edges are only quite short and I want him to pop up behind the other dogs so I haven't shown you all of my colouring today just to keep the video a little shorter um, but yeah I've just coloured them in mostly warm greys, uh, cool greys and some browns as well and then blue for the um, balloons and the hats. I don't have the die for this set so I'm just fussy cutting along the edge and I fussy cut out the other pieces and that's where I'm thinking he will pop up behind the other dogs there. So to make the mechanism I've just used a strip of acetate and I'm going to attach one end of that to the back of my little photo bombing dog and it's just going to be like a simple seesaw action held with the bread. So I'm just thinking where is he going to pop up and I liked that spot. So with my little photo uh, die there, I'm going to stick that over the dogs and then just trim off the excess along the edges. I've just used the background piece to, um, that's what I'm going to attach my acetate strip to. So I'm just putting that in place temporarily. Sorry, I'm a bit off camera here. I was concentrating. <laughs> and forgot to look where I was and I've just put it in place where I think it goes and now I'm going to use a little hole punch punch a hole and then pop a brad through so that it acts like the little seesaw and that's as simple as it is it's just a very simple little mechanism really um, and there you go it pops up behind the other dogs 
So I just need to adhere that together with some 3D foam and don't forget you need to leave a little gap in your 3D foam, see on the right hand side there, where your acetate strip is going to hang out and the 3D foam is going to stop him going too high or too low in the seesaw action. So just trying it out and it's so much fun to play with so I think I was probably just more playing than anything there. <laughs> And then I'm just cutting that strip a little bit shorter, adding my balloons and the hats. And I also added some silver kinniglets to the top of the hats. Sticking my background piece on the front of my card. And then I've just attached um, that to the front. I've used the Heavy Doodle Holiday Sentiment Duos, which I love, to stamp in Versamark ink and white emboss and then I've just got some small number dies that I cut out some silver um, paper and put 2019. So that is the card. I hope you enjoyed it and that it inspires you to have a go at some interactive cards if you haven't already. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again next time.